Hey guys, welcome back. So today I brought home this 8,500 watt Lifen generator. Uh, this one didn't cost much. I paid $100 for it. And around here, that is the price usually for a hopelessly broken generator, which this might be. Uh, the engine, as far as I can tell, it's not blown, but when I pull it over, it is very hard to get that engine to rotate. I think the closest thing I can compare it to is pulling a lawnmower with the flywheel brake on times two. So there is something creating drag. I guess what I don't know is it external to the engine, meaning the flywheel or the generator head, or is there something wrong internally? So that's what we're gonna find out. So let me get you set up a little better and get going on this thing. So first off, I'm just gonna pull the engine over to show you what I'm seeing. Yeah, it's pretty stuck, but if I actually keep it from moving, it should rotate. But it's very, very hung up. So I don't hear any scraping, so really no uh, symptoms or direction on where to go. So I'll get the spark plug out, get the valve cover off, maybe put a little WD-40 in the cylinder, see if it makes any difference. Yeah, there's absolutely no difference as far as how hard that is to turn over, but it does get easier at one point. So I'm wondering now if it's a cam issue. You know, I couldn't see these valves moving. This one looks weird though. Let me check the video. All right, so I took a look at the video. Both valves are moving, which is good. It at least tells us the camshaft and the lobes are in halfway decent shape, but this spring looks wrong. There is definitely something going on with this valve retainer. I don't think it has a hold of that valve. So looks like the piston's at top dead center. So I'm gonna remove this piece and see what's going on. Wow, that was very loose. I guess the good news is the valve retainer is still holding on to that valve. Uh, what I'm wondering though is should there be a rotator cap on there? I'm not sure. Anyway, this, this is really tight, the intake, and I'm not sure where I am on the stroke. So I'm going to crack that loose too. I mean, if this is overly tight, that's going to create drag on the cam and could also cause the issue we're seeing. All right, I'm gonna to try to rotate the engine again. Yep, 
Yeah, there's no change whatsoever. So whatever's going on, I don't think it's with the valves. From here, I think I'm gonna pull the blower housing off. Just make sure there's nothing creating drag on that flywheel. Yeah, no clues here. I was hoping maybe the starter gear was engaged on the flywheel, but it's not. And I can see the coil, it's not making contact with the flywheel either. So I don't think the issue is on this end. So I'm gonna get the tank off. We'll get the stator off, see if that makes a difference. All right, so there's four stator bolts going around. I wanna get those out, and then I gotta loosen the stator from the frame and use a puller to slide it off.
She does not want to let go. That end housing put up quite a fight. I didn't think I was gonna get it off in one piece. Usually when they're that stuck on, I end up cracking them with the puller, uh, but not this one, thankfully, because it's looking like this is the most valuable part of this generator. You know, the engine is still stuck and we're running out of things here connected to that crankshaft that it could be. So I would say more likely than not, it's a serious problem inside that engine. and. There's really no smoking gun yet. You know, for a second I thought potentially a valve issue, but that ended up being nothing. I think the only other clue I have so far is the air filter. I don't know if you noticed, but when I pulled the air box cover off, the air filter had a big tear in it and it was covered in dirt. So potentially this engine ingested a bunch of dirt and that's why we're seeing the problem we're seeing now. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm gonna pop that rotor off then I think I'm gonna drain the oil and see if that tells us anything. All right, I'm gonna use water to remove this rotor. And the way it's done is that this rotor actually is already threaded for an M12 1.75 bolt. So putting a bunch of Teflon on the threads to make a good seal, we'll fill the shaft with water and then just crank down on it. And if we're lucky, it'll build some pressure and pop the rotor off. Now, sometimes it does take a few tries, but it always works. Most people would consider this a good sign, but not me. Uh, I've seen this too often. I buy generators with blown connecting rods and I drain the oil, and the oil that comes out looks brand new. So 
What I'm thinking now is that it ran low on oil or ran out of oil, started making some bad sounds, and someone stopped it, put some oil in it, and the rest is history. So, yeah, um, not a good sign. I'm going to start just to get this carburetor out of the way. I want to take the head off, see what that looks like. The cylinder looks surprisingly good. Everything seems good there.
camshaft looks to be in very good shape. This is just a balancer. No issues there. Yeah, still stuck. So what do you think? Piston and cylinder or connecting rod and crankshaft? It's got to be one or the other. Not terrible. Yeah, that's actually not bad. I can't feel any of that. Yeah, piston's actually pretty good. Rings are good. So it has to be the connecting rod. So I'm going to reattach that to the crankshaft and just see if it's frozen on there. This is just finger tight, and you can see that connecting rod is pretty much frozen on that crankshaft. So yeah, that, that is the issue. Now, why is it like that? I don't know, but I'd say it needs a new connecting rod. Uh, potentially the crankshaft is bad. I don't have any specs for this engine, so I'm not sure I'm going to be able to find the answer to that, but if it only needs a new connecting rod, then it might be worth a try. All right, guys, well, I think that's pretty much a wrap for this video. It's already gotten quite long, and if I decide to rebuild this, it's gonna need its own video. Now, I did just go online for a second to the Life and website, looking for a parts diagram, specs, part numbers, anything, and came up empty. So that is not too promising. Now, I did go to the Generator Guru site, and they have parts for this engine connecting rod from them is $90 and a gasket set about $50. So that, if that's all this needs, then I might rebuild it. But the thing that's kind of unclear to me is, you know, how to put this back together properly. I don't have any specs for the sump, the connecting rod, or the head. 
And I could probably guess pretty accurately, but you know, I don't, I don't like guessing. So I'm going to have to do a little bit more research on that. Also, I don't know what the specs should be as far as the journal size on that crankshaft. So I don't even know for sure that it's the connecting rod that's the problem. Uh, given that that's aluminum and the crankshaft is steel, I would say most likely it is the connecting rod, but I don't know. So I'm going to do a little bit more research. Most likely you will see this again in a future video. So I hope this video helps someone. Thanks for watching.